day class, I'll tell you about one of the greatest astronomers in the Netherlands, Ise Isinger. Isinger was born in Donwijk, Friesland, in 1744. He was a very bright child, and at the age of 15, he published a maths book compromising of 650 pages, followed by an astronomical textbook at age 17. In 1768, Isinger married Peter Jacobs. They would get two sons together. Now that he was married and settled, Isinger had the time and funds to fulfill his dream. A planetarian right in his house in Franeke. Every day he worked with great precision on his planetarium in his free hours. After many years of working, Isa Isinger finally finished it in what used to be his living room. It's driven by a pendulum clock which has nine weights. The planets move around the model in real time, automatically. The planetarium includes a display from the current time and date. It's the oldest still working planetarium in the world. In addition to the basic orrery, there are displays of the phase of the moon and other astronomical phenomena. The orrery was constructed to a scale of one to a billion. However, this period of peace and easiness would soon come to an end with the arrival of a peculiar man to Franeke, Ilko Alta. What used to be a respectable scientist and priest was turned mad by religious fervor, and Alta had become convinced by his own prediction of the coming apocalypse. Four horsemen and four planets that will align in three days' time. The end is coming. Stop spreading these blatant lies already. Who is this? Mr. Eisinga? The world isn't going to end anytime soon. And what do you have, Mr. Eisinger, which disproves our holy Bible? Our Bible doesn't support your lies, Mr. Alta. You made them up all yourself. My planetary can disprove all of them. Using his orrery, Eisinger would show the people of Franeke how wrong Alta's assumptions were. The townsfolk, angry at being lied to, exploded in chaos and lynched the mad preacher. Isinger was disgusted by the barbarity of it all. Huh? You say trek iedereen over de balie. Ah, laat me gaan. En waarom zouden we jou moeten laten gaan, hè? los. Waarom dan, hè? Ah, blinden. We gaan allemaal dood. Ja, wij gaan dood. Maar eerst, jij eerst. Eerst wil je die straffen. Ah. 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 Waar ga je naartoe? Ah. Ah. Jezus. Ah. Je gaat naar de hel. Ah. Van de duivel. Ah. Ja. Mooi flink. Ah. Gelijk hebben jullie. Op je knieën. Ah. Nou. Fiets ah. Geniet van je laatste keer. Is er nog iets wat je wil zeggen? Tegen die god van jou. Brand! Wie brandt? Jij brandt! Jij! Ah. God! Ah. Ah. Vergeet het. me! Neem me op! Genoeg.
this turbulent time of revolutions, patriots and orangists, Isinger himself also had his political views. He had joined the patriots, the liberal faction who fought for democracy. However, the stadtholder had called his brother-in-law, the German king of Prussia, to come to his aid in quenching the patriots. In these years, Franeke had become the patriotic capital of the north. The Prussians were therefore eager to take the town. The local Orangist militias were, of course, supportive to the Prussians, and they had told the Prussians to go to Isinger's house. Therefore, Isinger flees. Rechts! 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 Links! Rechts! Rechts! Links! Rechts! Rechts! Links! Da ist er! Feuer! Scheiße! Ah, mein Kopf! Oh, ja, wer fehlt? Oh, oh Was sollen wir gegen den General sagen? Er, er sollte uns ein Feuerpeloton geben. Nein! Nein! Kobral! Kobral! Zu spät. Viel zu spät. After his escape from Friesland, Eisinger fled to Germany and he heard he was banished from Frisland for five years. He settled in Groningen after he heard of the passing away of his wife. This was a grim time for Isinger as he worked as a wool cumber and his knowledge went to waste. Then, however, finally came good news. French revolutionaries under General Pichgru crossed the Rhine and freed the Netherlands. Eisinger's exile was lifted and he became a member of the provincial governance and a professor of the Franeker Academy. However, in 1811, one year before his disastrous invasion of Russia, Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte of France closed his Franeker Academy for good. <laughs> Une académie dont l'aide n'est pas suffisante pour les Pays-Bas. This meant Eisinger had more time for his studies. However, in 1818, three years after the return of King Willem I from England, Eisinger enjoyed a royal visit at his planetary. The king offered him to buy the planetary, seeing as this was now the highest authority in the nation. It truly was an offer he couldn't resist. Isinger sold the planetary and the king made him a brother in the order of the Dutch lion. Also, from the money gained in the deal, Isinger could afford to live as quite a king himself. Eisinger lived his last years in Franeke and on the 27th of October 1828 he passed away. In his will he described the workings of his orrery. So, 
Arjen, can you tell me what's Isinga's hometown? Well, uh, I guess Franeker, sir. How did you know that? You were fast asleep. Well, it seems I had a very funny dream. <laughs> 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 Die staat op beeld. Vandaag bij één. Ja, dat moet lachen. Hij lacht niet al. Kappen. Diana Jacobs. Arjen. Ah, nee. Diana Jacobs. Nee. Zijn jullie vandaag bij één? Ja, dit gaat nu wel fout. Dit heeft je echt genoten. Ja. Nee. Ik nu tot man en vrouw. U mag de bereiden kussen. Ja. Dat kan hij niet. Haar man die denkt dat hij kan filmen. Haar man denkt dat hij. Nee, bedanken. Dat was voor jullie heb geregeld en georganiseerd. Nee, oh, Oké, okay, dit is je! Klap! Terug naar die andere kant, joh! Oh, ik drink echt weer mee. Ga er vanaf! Ga er vanaf! In je mooie toga! Dicht! Geert, Geert, Geert! Rustig, 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 Geert! Ik ben dus zojuist opgehangen en hier is Edwin. Wat vond jij ervan? Leuk. Vind, ah, ja. ik, vind ik leuk. Ja. over de vriendeloze, negenjarige Oudewappen. Zijn naam is Aksje. Wil jij Aksje helpen? Neem contact met ons op op kinderhandel.org. Heel erg bedankt. En deze week is er bij aanmeldingen keukenrol vol met Tjernobyl straling te winnen. Nogmaals heel erg bedankt en kusjes namens Aksje. Dank u wel. How'd you fit all that in them jeans? <laughs> you know what to do with that big fat butt Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle